Good evening. There's been a huge increase in livestock rustling as the price of meat and in particular lamb has hit record highs. Last year, around 70,000 sheep were stolen across the UK and that number is expected to rise. The cost of the farmer is around £6 million and that of course feeds through to us as consumers. With top quality lamb selling at up to £12 a kilo in the shops, it's not hard to see the attraction for thieves. But as our rural affairs correspondent David Gregory Kumar has been finding out, meat from stolen sheep could prove dangerous to eat. On police patrol in Shropshire looking for livestock rustlers. While general farm theft, including the stealing of agricultural machinery, is down, livestock theft is on the up. Certainly this time of night, commercial vehicles, vans, may, might be in a, a gateway, driveway, parked up somewhere. That's going to draw my attention to it and we're going to find out if that vehicle has a legitimate purpose. Find out what they're doing, they might be just taking a rest. But uh, a vehicle that's parked up in a gateway, it might have uh, some explaining to do. A legitimate butchers like this one near Wolverhampton knows exactly where their meat has come from. And each of the lambs we buy has the Staffordshire knot stamped on it. And that gives us the origin of the lamb. But they also know why livestock theft looks increasingly lucrative to the criminals. Two cattle we bought last week out of Bridgenorth Market cost us £2,500. The lambs are at £80 each. Um, if they steal 10 sheep, that they've saved £800, you know, um, that's why they do it. This Shropshire farm has been targeted three times now, losing over 140 animals, but for farmer David Williams, it's not just about the money. And do you worry about how they're being slaughtered? Yes, I do, because we try and look after the best of our ability when, when they're with us. Are they taken to a licensed and regulated uh, abattoir? Don't know. Mm or where, where they end up, how they're killed, and what happens to them afterwards, I don't know. Are you worried you might be targeted again? Absolutely. Why shouldn't they? Um, they've been back three times. Why can't they come again? And that's, as I say, at night, when I'm in the house, it drives my wife, Carla, and Reese the boy, mad, because I'm up at the window when he hears something, I went up and down the road. <sighs> I don't know. Yes, they could well be back. I hope they don't come back. But this isn't just about crime or animal welfare. Meat from stolen animals could actually be dangerous. Farmers do use some pretty powerful drugs to treat their animals in the course of the year, but they know not to sell them when the drugs are in their systems. Of course, with stolen sheep, say, you've no guarantee of that case. They might have been treated just the day before. There's a very real possibility that this meat is unfit for human consumption. <coughs> Livestock theft is now a police priority and a growing worry for our farmers. And David is with me now. David, we saw Mr Williams padlocking the gates to his field at the end of your report there. Seems pretty basic, rudimentary, but essential. What else could he do to uh, protect his livestock? Well, the uh, farmers and the police are looking towards cameras like this now to deploy them in and around farms. Uh, they're weatherproof, remote cameras. They're triggered when people move in front of them. You can put them out as an obvious visual deterrent, or you can hide several in the undergrowth and try and catch people in the action and use that to track down whoever's rusting your sheep. Mm. What about the sheep themselves? Is there any more that can be done to identify them and track them? Well, if we look at the sheep in Mr Williams's farm, you can see they've got a big green W on their backs. That's quite hard to get off, but you wouldn't be that surprised to see a green W on other sheep on other farms because he does sell them to other places, of course. They do have two tags. They're quite easy to remove, however. There's talk of chipping, but unlike pet dogs, uh, the chips actually move around under the skin of the sheep, so that's not terribly useful. Now they're talking about very high-tech solutions, perhaps retinal scanning of the sheep, their actual eyes, that should be individual to the animals, or even GPS tracking, putting a tracker on one animal in a flock, so if the flock's stolen, you will be able to track them and see where they go. All right, so where do these sheep go? Where do they end up? Well, obviously, probably in the food chain, that's the big worry, so perhaps even the catering trade, but I think for farmers like Mr Williams, the big concern for him is he's had uh, lambs that are about four weeks old uh, stolen. Now they're very young. They're too young to go for slaughter. So it's likely actually they're going to other farmers to be reared up and grown on other farms. And I think for someone like Mr Williams who's had his sheep stolen, the thought that other farmers are involved in the trade, I think they find that quite upsetting. Mm, quite worrying. David, thank you.